I am making just a really simple meal. It really is simple. I have some carrots out, some onion, and I have some pork. And I'm, I opened it up. I shouldn't have opened it before I did the camera, but I wasn't going to make a video. This is uh, Mexican pork chunks. It's pork chunks that I get from the Mexican store. And um, this was in my food saver since March. So um, it came out really good. And I will show you in just a minute. I want to cut this these up first. And I'm going to put the meat back on here because I think I need to cut it up again. I have my uh, crock pot out and I got these roasting bags. I don't know if you guys know about these. <laughs> They're really great and you can roast in the oven. Put your whole meal in the oven and it cooks up and it's great and your pan isn't really messy. Plus your turkey or whatever meat is very uh, juicy and tender. I'm going to use it in my crock pot so I don't make a big mess in my crock pot. I've actually never done that before. So let's see what this is going to work like or come out like. I want to cut up my onion. I'm going to cut, I already cleaned my carrots. I do not um, cut the skin off, I don't peel them because I believe that the skin, the peel, is a very good part of your, your meal. I'm going to wash it off a little bit more though. So I keep the peel on. There's a lot of good nutrients in your peels. So look at how funky that one looks. <laughs> anyway, I will cut these. I'm going to throw these in there and I'll probably put in a couple of peppers. I've got to grab those out. I want to show you just how easy it is to eat at home. I'm going to cut these carrots into um, fours. And you can cut your carrots any way you want to. If you don't want carrots, don't put them in there. Put green beans or peas or corn, whatever. Uh, this is a good, and this one here doesn't really need to be, I'm going to cut off the end, doesn't really need to be cut too much, so I'm just going to cut it in half. The littler, littler they get, you don't really have to cut them. I want them all to be cooked at the same time. And then um, I'll cut the meat and I'll show you the meat. It, there's three chunks and I just want to cut it up a little bit smaller. Most of the meal will be vegetables, which is nothing wrong with veggies, right? Okay. Now, see, it's kind of already cut up, but not really. So I'm going to cut it up a little bit more. And there are fatty pieces on here. I'm going to leave it there. That'll give the meat another good taste, a different type of a texture. Okay, there. And I will do that these pieces as well. I'm going to spread out my onion and I'll show you what this looks like in just a second. Just spread out the onion and okay. All right. I'm going to cut up these pieces. I might cut off some of that. I'm going to cut up these pieces and throw them in there and then I need to get some sauce and I'll bring you right back. Wash my hands and shut off the camera. Okay, I have the meat cut up um, and the vegetables are in there, the onions in there, and I have my sauces. Actually, I thought I'd bring you over here and kind of look and see what it looks like. I did end up cutting off a little bit of that fat and I'm gonna put this right here so you can kind of see, excuse my dirty egg pan. So you can see what's going on and I do not measure very rarely do I measure, so I'm just going to drop in. This is Worcestershire sauce, and I would say that's about a fourth of a cup. And then I'm going to put in some garlic so or is this? It's garlic powder, excuse me. Garlic powder. And I'm going to do about a tablespoon because we do love garlic. And this isn't a very strong taste either. This I bought at the store. This isn't something that I had dehydrated. 
and I'm going to put in cayenne red pepper. I don't put a lot of this in because I don't like it hot myself. Um, my husband likes hot. So let's do about a table, or excuse me, a teaspoon. That's about a teaspoon of hot. And then I'm going to mix it. And then this is going to go on a low because it's still early enough in the day that we're not going to be eating this for quite a while. So I'm going to put it on low. And it's just going to cook up. And I will have rice with it. And I also have some uh, tortilla shells. And I might end up cutting these up. These, we have huge tortilla shells. I might end up cutting those up and cooking them with some uh, cinnamon sugar on them and kind of make it like a little dessert type thing. But anyway, this is going to go into the crock pot. When I bring you back, I'll let you know how long it cooked and uh, how good it is. And guys, one more thing. I am um, getting my roaster bag and I'm tucking it in. Okay, and then I'll put the lid on it. There. And because it's going to be on low, I'm thinking it's going to be probably at least four hours because of the meat. But we'll see. bring you back. Okay folks, it's been about four hours. Uh, actually it's been four hours and 15 minutes since I put this in. So I brought it over here to show you. Let's look at it and see if it's done. The bag's a little hot, but let's see, I can lift it out and there's not a big mess in my pot, which is awesome. Open this up. Ooh, it's hot, so you gotta be careful. Steam does burn. Let me grab a knife and a fork. I'm sure the veggies are tender. They're wonderful, but let's check the cork. You wanna make sure, excuse me as I grab my cutting board. You wanna make sure that your pork is cooked really well can't eat raw pork and that is so tender did you see how that just falls right off perfect okay I'm going to taste a little bit mm. that's good excuse me I left my water out there it's very good. It's definitely cooked. But I feel I need more hot cayenne. So I'm going to put a little bit more of that in there. Like I said, I don't like it hot. So if I'm adding more, let's get the little one, then there's no hot in there. So I'm going to bring this up. Let me bring the camera a little closer so you can kind of see in there. Doesn't that look good, all those onions? If you don't like onions, you won't like that. <laughs> I love it. Put you right back there. I have a makeshift stand, so I'm hoping I'm not cutting off my head. Um, a little bit more cayenne. I'm going to sneeze, too, with this. And I'm going to go grab some more Worcestershire. And earlier, I did have this out, and I did not put this in yet. I wanted to taste the meat first before I put this in. It's a Mexican hot sauce, and it is pretty hot, so I need to be careful of that. And more Worcestershire. And then, because this meat is all cooked, I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to put it down to warm. I've unplugged it. I need to put it back over there and plug it back in. But I'm going to just keep it on warm. I'm going to keep it in the bag, and let's put on Tad Bim. get out this and just kind of there move it around it has a good little gravy in there and like I said I'll put it over rice and because I did add a few more things I'll try a little bit more of it on camera but more Worcestershire 
this is my new favorite. I really don't know how much I put in there. So, Worcestershire does have a, a salt taste. So before you put any salt on it, you would uh, taste it first. I'm going to close this back up. And I'm just going to keep it on warm because we're not ready to eat yet. But it is definitely cooked. The meat will uh, cook down a little bit more. The flavorings will all uh, meld in together to everything, and it will be wonderful. I'll bring you back on the final taste. Okay, um, I have the meal ready, and uh, the meal is ready. <laughs> we are not ready to eat, but I wanted to try this really quickly. Uh, like I said earlier, I did add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and paprika. And in my bowl, I put in a little bit of the, uh, the broth. Let's see how good this is. That's perfect. There's a little bit of a bite. And for the guys on the table, I will put out um, some of the, the more of the hot sauce. And I'll put out the red cayenne pepper so that they can doctor it up the way they want to because this isn't hot spicy it's just a tiny bit spicy which is the way I like it I wouldn't be able to eat it if it was too spicy it's perfect the onion the carrot are cooked up perfectly I like my vegetables to have just a little bit of a crunch and they do. The meat is tender, it falls apart, and it's not a super salty either. I did not add any salt. I was afraid uh, to add salt because Worcestershire sauce is salty. So just that Worcestershire, a um, little bit of spice that I had put in there, that's a good mix. So this might end up being one of our favorites. It's something that I usually do just really quickly throw something in the crock pot although uh, like I said earlier the bag this roasting bag is new I, I, I've never done that before but I will do it again it looks like it's dropping a little bit of liquid but I believe it's just water and not um, not the gravy that's gonna be an easy cleanup which I love um, I made two cups of rice so there's gonna be plenty of rice and let me show you too the little I don't even know what to call these. The burrito shells, I had cooked two of them. The first one I cooked, it was in for 10 minutes and it wasn't super crunchy. The other one, um, I'm painting the foyer out here and I forgot about it and it was in. This one here was in for probably about 15 to 20 minutes, but it's super crunchy. It didn't burn, okay? And even sitting in the bowl, all day. It is not soggy. It's still crunchy. <clears throat> That's really good. And I cut it into pizza wedges. You can cut it any way you want to. Just a simple meal. And guys, it really is simple. It took me maybe five minutes to throw everything together. Cut it all up, throw it in there, put it on uh, low, and it cooks all day. We cook at home as much as we can. I hope this inspires you to cook at home and let me know what you're doing to feed your family, how you're cooking at home, what you do, um, what your favorite meals are, and I, I love reading the comments. So thank you very much. We'll see you later. Hey, and like and subscribe.